Hi everyone, it's Amy with Dragons with Apothecary. Thank you for joining this week's Oils and Oracle reading. Middle of January already. It's pretty awesome. Um, so this week, if you're new, welcome by the way. This week I'm using the Wild Offering card deck um, to do our Oracle reading. And just like always, I've, I've paired each card with some uh, high quality doTERRA essential oils to give you some extra support with this reading. Um, and some extra just, again, support, um, you know, to help you work through what the card speaks to you with. And, help, you know, if you have questions about those, you can reach out to me, either questions on this post or come on over to dragonspitapothecary.com. You can click that contact me button, send me a message. There's also a chat feature right on the website, and I'm happy to answer questions you have around the Oracle cards or the... Um, doTERRA products that I recommend. So, pulled three cards, just like always. One for this weekend, one for next week, and then one from the universe, okay? So we're gonna um, pull this first card from this Wild Offering deck. And boy, if there's not a recurring theme this month, I don't know what would be. Um, first card that came up, and it's for this weekend, is the Body card. Okay, and I'm gonna read to you what this says. Um, because I know you can't see it too well on the screen, but um, what it what it says first is, "Show me, divine, how to love and fully care for this body. Please give me the radiant miracle of accepting my body as it is." Okay, so let's talk about that. We are first of the year. A lot of us have these health and wellness goals, and you know, middle of January, we're getting a little frustrated with ourselves because maybe we can't do all what we think we should do or we're not as fit or skinny or whatever, right? You got to love yourself regardless of your tag in your pants, okay? You have to love who you are. We can work to make improvements and nothing wrong with that, but let's keep some perspective about it. Um, there's nothing wrong with who you are right now, okay? There's nothing wrong with how big or small you are. Um, and again, we can make improvements. We can, it's always great to improve yourself, to grow and be better than what you are today. That's great. But you know what? Love yourself along the way. Okay. You don't have to negative Nancy talk yourself all the time. Um, get, you know, tell yourself you're a failure or whatever it is that you're doing. Love where you are, love who you are on the journey of becoming something better. Okay. Because when you get there, if you don't love yourself now, you're not going to love yourself later, no matter what you look like. Okay, so that is my advice on this card. Now, what I have paired it with is a lot of good body image loving oils. And again, if you've watched me any time on this, you know I only recommend the doTERRA essential oils natural products. So, the three oils I've put with this. Geranium, it, that is the oil of body love. If you're feeling not good about yourself, get you some geranium oil and put it on those areas of your body you're not feeling the greatest about. We all have them, okay? And it's very hard not to take out what you're feeling on those areas of the body. But geranium is that self-love oil that's going to help heal that relationship you have with your body, help you put it in perspective, work on your goals positively and intentionally, okay? Jasmine. Oh, jasmine is the other oil I put with this, and here's why. Jasmine is all about love. It's exotic. It's sexy. It makes you feel good. It smells good. <laughs> no joke, it smells good. Um, but jasmine, when we feel good on the inside, we feel better on the outside. Okay? And jasmine helps us with that process. And we all need that help every now and again. There's nothing wrong with that. And Jasmine's and just makes you feel special, okay? Then the other oil I'll put with this, doTERRA's blend of emotional aromatherapy oils, forgive. You gotta forgive yourself. If you have been telling yourself all those ugly things about yourself, I want you to get some forgive. And if you don't have it, contact me. I will help you get it. But forgive yourself, okay? Develop a better relationship with your body inside and out this year. Make that a, gosh, that's such a great resolution anytime. But 
If you're really suffering with that negative self-talk, let's get you some forgive. Apply it over your heart and let's work on that body image and uh, relationship with our bodies. Okay, so that's this weekend. If you have questions about those, you come on over to dragonspinapothecary.com. I'll help you. Let's talk next week. So next week is another powerful card. Mm -mm -mm. It's the relationship card. Okay. Now we just got done talking about the relationship with our body. Uh-huh. So this could be the relationship of your body continuing for next week too. It could also be relationship with others. I'm going to tell you what this card says. I call in the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way. Move it now fully belong to the divine. Let it unfold in the perfect way for each of us. I needn't fear letting go of control. My needs are always abundantly met. Now, whether this card in your life refers to a person, place, thing, or your body, spiritually or emotionally or physically, doesn't matter. I think that message applies to a lot of things in a lot of ways. So I'm going to go into the perspective of what we just talked about with our body and that self-relationship because I think that's where a lot of us are right now. We've put on the pandemic pounds and now we're trying to have 2021 be a better year. So health and wellness is a really big deal right now. So I'm thinking this card means for us, let your body, uh, I'm sorry, love your body and treat it well. The relationship with your body, let it unfold. Um, see, your needs are always abundantly met. Just love where you are. Love that journey you're on because it's a beautiful thing. Okay. So going to be some familiarity here, but I put neroli, which is a citrus. I love neroli oil. It's so good for anxiety. And when you are um, uncertain or you're feeling unsafe, you've got some anxiety there, right? Neroli is so good at anxiety. It's got you. It's that support. Okay, neroli is fantastic. I love putting it on the, the bottom of my neck. It is helpful whenever I'm feeling nervous, anxious, disconnected, or because then that's when kind of my micromanager comes out and I'm trying to control every detail, every element, every aspect, and I'm driving myself and everyone around me nuts. Okay, neroli is good for this. Jasmine, I put this one on this card too, because again, it's about those relationships, whether it's with ourselves or with others. Again, Jasmine helps us with that connection. And it's a beautiful oil for love, relationships, connectivity, um, roots, all of that. But Jasmine, everyone needs that oil. And then the other one I put with this again was geranium. Because when you're talking about love, whether again with another person or with yourself, geranium is that oil of connecting love and healing love. Okay, so that's for next week. All right, so if it wasn't uh, relevant yet, I bet you this card will be. This is the card from the universe, and it's the card of a contentment. Okay, again, I'll read that to you so you know what it says. But you can learn to rest in what you already have and already are. Didn't we already talk about this? Suddenly you remember, I'm right here resting in God. Okay. So we've already talked about this in these two other cards, so this shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. Appreciate how far you've come. Appreciate where you are. You don't have to beat yourself up for not being as far down the road as you thought you should be. Or you haven't lost any weight yet this year. Come on, give yourself a rest. Love where you are. Love who you are in this moment. And, and grow from there. Okay? So, here's the oils I put with this. Spikenard. Oh, love this protective oil. It's so protecting, supportive. When we feel like we're just beating ourselves down or that we feel like the world's kind of knocked the wind out of our sails, Spikenard is a great healing oil for those things. The doTERRA Blend Console. Again, this is from the Emotional Aromatherapy products they have. It is a soothing, it's like the warm hug. 
Okay, when you are so upset about something or you're feeling grief or loss or again, kind of a been knocked down and don't know how to get up kind of stuff, console. It's a great oil, again, over the heart. Um, I actually like this one on my arm creases as well. It is just a soothing, comforting oil. I also put it with it, the doTERRA Aromatherapy Peace. Okay, I love peace. Oh, it's one of my favorite oils. Peace, again, emotional aromatherapy, guess what? It brings about the sense of peace. And sometimes you need that when things kind of feel like they're going sideways. Okay, so that's our reading this week. If you got questions, come on over. You know where to find me, dragonspitapothecary.com. Make sure you subscribe to this website. Um, I'm going to be doing these readings every Friday this year and every full moon. So you don't want to miss them. I'm always happy to answer questions. I'm happy to help you get doTERRA oils, teach you how to use them, support you in that journey of natural living this year. Um, but I hope this oils and oracle reading is meaningful to you. Leave me a thumbs up if it is, uh, or leave some feedback about how I can make it better for you. Okay, have a great weekend. We'll talk again next week.